Hey there. Welcome back to another redraw video because you guys want a series of me redrawing those girls that I showed in my last video. So I got you guys to vote on uh, which one you wanted to redraw and you guys chose this girl. But plot twist. Little did you guys know that this girl actually had a finished painting to go along with her. Ta-da! This is the only one that I finished a painting of and uh, I did it in gouache and coloured pencil. So yes, I got to work um, doing the thumbnails and the sketches and seeing what I could come up with. I did film a bit of the thumbnailing process but I was not feeling super inspired so I decided to turn off the camera for some of the thumb some of the thumbnailing and sketching um, just because I feel a little bit of pressure when I'm sketching or just doodling and the camera's on and the camera is on I'm having trouble pronouncing words today apparently what else is new um, yeah so this girl I felt like the original was just sort of like she was super chill and cozy and kind of introverted because she's wearing a hat and anyone who wears a hat or earphones is just like please just leave me alone i'm trying to conceal myself from the world <laughs> that that's how i see introversion anyway i'm an introvert so if you think i'm picking on introverts i i'm really not we are the cool ones and we know it because you know what we do we stay at home and read yeah that's right we expand our minds willingly <laughs> i don't know what i'm saying anymore okay cool here's the inking phase as you can see i am using my tombow brush pen in the tip size hard i think i'm also using the um faber castell pit pen for some of the smaller lines but i'm not sure if i included that in the footage um yeah so i figured this girl was chill enough to be the kind of girl who would go grab a coffee or a tea and then go and read a book somewhere. So that's sort of just what I did for her pose. Um, I didn't make her pose quite as dynamic as the first redraw that I did, just because, like I said, she's she seems chill, so I didn't really want to make her too dynamic. I remember um, when I did do the original painting, that was the sketch that I was most proud of, and I really, really enjoyed um doing the painting i think i was still really new to gouache i get the feeling that i did it with my reeves gouache that's how new i was and i did it on card paper so just thick cardstock type stuff which you are able to use gouache on but gouache works best and nowadays i prefer to use it on watercolor paper and specifically cold press so that's actually what i'm using right now but I decided not to go with gouache this time. I decided to keep the redraw theme series consistent. So this girl will be painted in with watercolor. I hope you guys find my inking therapeutic. I <laughs> I find inking itself to be really therapeutic. Sketching is kind of stressful for me, but inking and watercoloring is the more uh, meditative side of art, personally. Um, and watching people ink is like my favorite thing. If you've ever watched Audra or Claire ink anything, uh, you'll know what I'm talking about because she's just, I don't know how, but it, it she does it with so much confidence and it's so lovely and chill. I just, I really, really love it. Ah, there's a postie outside my window. Uh-oh, he has a package. I will be right back. Don't you love it when the postie interrupts your recording session? So, um, I think I was talking about inking. Yeah, inking is something that I've been practicing since I knew that YouTube was a thing. And I was actually telling this story to my boyfriend a couple of nights ago, how I didn't know that people, normal people, were allowed to ink stuff um, until I was in my early teens, actually. And uh, this was because I watched, you know Garfield the movie? Mm -hmm. 
I watched the behind the scenes features of that and the creator of Garfield, I can't remember his name, I'm sorry, um, he was talking about the process of the comic and he would explain that, you know, he sketches it and then he sends it off to the person who inks it, then it goes to the colorist and I was under the impression that you needed like a degree to, to be an ink person. I don't know why. <laughs> I, I just assumed, you know, inking. Hmm, yes. Far too serious for me. And then I discovered Bailey J. Imagine my surprise when I saw her busting out those Copic multi-liners. Yep, that was me. I can't believe it either. Um, okay, moving on to the watercolour. Uh, I had to do quite a few coats with the watercolour on this piece because, as you can tell, um... I wasn't doing super great with the the washes, um, but that's okay because I really like the effect of glazed watercolor. That's a technique that I learned maybe a year ago, maybe a little over a year ago actually, I can't remember. I haven't been doing watercolors um, recently except for these videos and I've sort of only just started to get back into them, so if my technique looks poor, that's because it is. I remember there was a point in time when I was doing really well with watercolours, but um, I felt really out of practice because I was using Moleskine sketchbooks. I still do. Um, but that was encouraging me to use more media suited to those, and I just recently got myself a watercolour sketchbook again so that hopefully I can uh, learn and practice a bit more with watercolors because I really do enjoy using them. Um, I just sort of dropped off the face of the earth with them for a little bit, I guess. Um, yeah. Gosh, there really isn't much else to say about the piece, I guess. It's just a cute girl with some tea. I'm gonna go with tea because Usually if I draw coffee, it's in one of those travel cups, so I'm assuming I did tea. Oh, you know what? I could talk about the the ombre. Um, this is one thing that I was proud of, because I still remember how to ratio the water in my brush so that I can get a decent gradient for her hair in this example, as you can see. Um, that was something that I struggled a lot with as a newbie watercolor artist, actually, is understanding how much water was in my brush but honestly like you just got to stick with it and you just got to uh when artists say practice makes perfect there's there's a reason why they say it it's because when they look back over their art journey practice was the one consistent thing that helps them uh gain traction and gain progress although i've recently heard someone say you know practice makes progress not perfection yeah and I kind of prefer that, but, you know, it, it is true. The more you practice, the more you get used to this kind of thing, the better you get at it. For example, um, I'm using my Princeton Neptune brush here, which, because it's a nicer kind of brush, it holds a lot more water. So I'm less practiced with that because for a long time I was using cheaper brushes, which I still do. Um, I feel like brushes with watercolors is the one area where you can kind of be a bit of a cheapskate. Um, so the cheaper the brush, the less water it's going to be able to hold. Um, yeah. I don't know, just interesting watercolour theory stuff. Hmm. Yes. Very interesting stuff. Oh yeah, I used coloured pencils in this illustration. I think I used it a little bit in the previous one but I also decided to incorporate them for this one. I just, I, I've been experimenting with my old techniques um, and just sort of seeing what I really enjoyed doing, what I miss sort of doing. I don't think that going back to old techniques is necessarily a bad thing. Um, I don't know, I feel like I went through a really big art block. I don't like calling it that, but I went through a time of not being very inspired at all and not really being able to make much art over a broad amount of months um, and I feel like I'm just sort of try trying to draw every day and get back into it and 
experience art again for what I see it, which is amazing and fun and passion and yay. I, I don't know. I, th I think that's what's important is that even if you're going through crap art times to just continue to draw every day because the second that you stop drawing don't be afraid to stop drawing if you really need to do but the second that you stop drawing is when personally I've found the art block starts to win you can't let it win that's where fight is here at magenta mayhem so there you go there is the finished piece now something that I um completely <laughs> forgot to do in the last video was ask you guys to name her. I would really love it if we uh, did a thing down in the comments where everyone suggests a name and then in the next video I pick which name I think you guys suggested and that suits her the best. I think that would be really cool and fun to do and I actually did ask you guys um, what you would have called the first girl I asked you over on the community page on YouTube so that's why you should probably have your notifications on for me because I think that's the only way that you see those posts and we called her Amber which I think really suits her I love it so tell me what you would call this new girl in the comments below it's time for the mayhem doodle segment guess what you guys have awesome art, and I am here to show it off. Reminder, if you want to be featured at the end of my videos, use the hashtag on Instagram, MayhemDoodle, in your Instagram art caption thing. Onto the art. So, drawing is -im. Drawing is -im. I, I have no idea how to say that. Did this super cute girl with pigtails and blush, and it's everything and more, and I love it. And look at the cute little face on the side. I love that too. Um, Asata.r did yet another cute girl. We're really good at doing cute girls this week. Who has pink hair and a real teal theme going on with her clothing. She's wearing a cute teal beanie. I love how you drew the beanie, by the way. It looks amazing. And a teal, like, top. We've got Utah underscore Jazzy Art. I think that you were in my last video as well. I think that some of these people were in the last video. I'm so glad because you guys have amazing art and this is no exception. Look at this. I think they said that this was Tyler Joseph inspired and I flipping love this. It just looks so good. I, oh, you have such talent. You really do. I can tell you've worked really hard for it. Then we've got Rima Shy. Still don't know how to say that. And this honestly reminds me of Marina and the Diamonds because of How to Be a Heartbreaker written on the bowl there. And I just think that the symbolism in this piece is like, it's like bang on. It's like perfect. I love the whole thing. <laughs> it's incredible. And you know what? Good on you for doing backgrounds because I very rarely do backgrounds and they are tricky. But you did this one amazingly. Then we've got... Advakak. You guys, your usernames just get crazier and crazier. I get the feeling that, um, oh, this could be like a, a name from a language that I don't speak, so maybe that's why it sounds crazy to me. But I get the feeling that maybe some of y'all are like, I've got a weird username. I'd like to hear Magenta Mayhem try to pronounce that. Anyway, we've got Goth Wendy. And you are not bad with your Tombow markers. Tombow markers are difficult to use, and you have nailed this. I love the whole thing. I love her red hair. I don't really know who Wendy is, but if this is Wendy, <laughs> which I'm assuming it is, she looks amazing. And I love the gothic element in there as well. Um, oh, drawingism again did this gorgeous uh, black and white drawing of this cute girl and they added some red elements and can I just say I love black and white and red together I love those little subtle red elements they're just incredible I love them then we've got Kitty's writing who did these amazing mushrooms this is so fairy tale esque I love the whole thing it's just it's like taking me back to um the Shirley Brown fairy stories um, illustrations that's what it's reminding me of right now 
And then we have asata.r. Um, she did acrylic with this and look, girl, anyone who does acrylic, I have instant respect for you. This is so cool. I love how abstract the background is and I love her pose. <laughs> I just I just think it looks so cool. I just think it looks so cool. So thank you guys for all of your submissions. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Remember to use hashtag mayhemdoodle if you want to be in the next video. And yeah, I think that's the video done. Cool. I'll see you next week. Bye.